Apple Notes is pretty cool. Did you know that you can lock notes and then unlock them with your face or with your fingerprint? Did you know that you can scan documents directly from your phone to your computer and have the text be searchable? Did you know that you can create template notes for notes that you might use often? You can do all of those things with Apple Notes and a lot more. So in this video, I'll show you how I use Apple Notes. Now, in case you're new, my name is Peter. I'm a YouTuber, podcaster, productivity teacher, productivity coach. So I have lots of reasons to take notes. I wanna show you the structure of my Apple Notes. I wanna tell you some of the use cases that I have for Apple Notes and show you some of those. I wanna tell you why I chose Apple Notes and not some other notes app. And I wanna show you what I do not use Apple Apple Notes for because it is not amazing at everything. Let's go over here in my Apple Notes and I'll tell you a little bit about the structure that I have going on. Now in Apple Notes, you can organize your notes by folders or by tags. I do both. <laughs> so I've got my main folders here. I've got my notes folder, coaching folder, demo folder, and subs folder. I also have these tags over here. Now I have several folders because while most of my notes are in my notes folder, there are some things that I want to keep private. And I also want to keep demonstration notes outside of my notes folder. So for example, I have coaching clients. And so inside this coaching folder, there is a subfolder for each coaching client that I have, but I don't want to reveal their names to you because that's private information. So I just put that in here so that when I'm making videos or if I hand my phone to someone else and my notes app is open, they don't see the names of my coaching clients. So that's a really handy way to organize your notes at a very high level. But an even handier way is to use tags. For example, all my tags related to Toastmasters, a public speaking club that I'm a member of, have the tag Toastmasters. So how does that work? Um, it just works by putting a Toastmasters tag at the bottom of my note. Same thing with if I wanna do a YouTube um, note. So I have a note right here that is about this office slash YouTube studio that I'm working on and I save some inspiration um, and some ideas that I have for how to make this a great office and YouTube studio. And at the bottom, I just put the tag YouTube. Now you'll see that I also added the tag home. And so in this case, this note shows up both under the YouTube tag list and under the home tag list, which is really handy. You can combine these. You can say, what are all my notes that are about my home and about YouTube? And you'll see that this is the only one that actually shows up. Now, if you want, you can make a smart folder. If you click new folder and you click smart folder, a smart folder is a folder that is based on one or more tags. So for example, I want to see all my home and YouTube notes. Then I can say, show notes that have the tags home and YouTube Click OK and you'll see the smart folder right here, which is represented by a gear icon rather than the folder icon. And it shows you all these notes and it's a smart folder because it will populate itself based on which notes have those tags rather than you having to drag notes directly into this folder or manually into this folder. Now, one quick thing, you see these numbers on the right over here, it's supposed to represent how many notes sit inside each folder, but it's only the number of notes that sit directly in the folder, but not in any of its subfolders. So for example, in the demo folder over here, I've got one note inside the demo folder directly, but I've also got two subfolders that each have an item in them. So you would expect this number to say three, but it says one. So that's just something to pay attention to. This is the case for my demo folder, but also my subs folder, which has several subfolders. I don't have that many meetings, but when I do have a meeting, it is often a meeting with a coaching client of mine. And I do like to prepare for those meetings and take notes during those meetings and reflect afterwards on what was said or just write down some notes of things that I remember that I didn't get around to during the call. So I love to use Apple Notes for that. And one way I do that is with a template. So you might've seen this template tag here before. I create template notes for things I might wanna use repeatedly. For example, I have a regular coaching call template and it just looks like this. Whenever I'm about to have a new coaching call, I duplicate it and I remove the template tag from the next one. And now I just have this note over here and I just start writing, okay, what is the general plan that this coaching client and I were working on? What is the specific agenda for today? During the call, I'll list some call notes and then afterwards I'll have to do for my coaching clients, such as schedule the next coaching call, send me a list of your goals, send me a screenshot of your weekly schedule 
and so on and so forth. And it's super handy to have these template notes so I don't keep having to create this structure every single time. Another example of a template that I use is the template for a podcast recording. So when I'm recording a podcast episode, there's a bunch of things that I like to do. I like to have a little icebreaker in case my guest and I are not very familiar with each other yet or haven't met before. There's a couple of things I like to explain before we record. I like to do some research and come up with a list of conversation topics or potential questions and write those down. And so rather than having to rewrite this from scratch every time, I just duplicate the note for each episode. Another thing I like to use Apple Notes for is to save inspiration. So that's what I've got going on here with this note about my home office slash YouTube studio. I've just got some ideas of things that I want to do. And I also saved some photos of things that I think look cool. For example, a YouTube background that I, a YouTuber's background that I think looks cool or a streaming setup that I think looks really cool or, you know, a, a light setup and stuff like that. Also, a previous video that I did in my old apartment, I thought the um, environment looked pretty cool. So I put that in here as well. So saving things for inspiration is a great use case for Apple Notes as well. So why do I use Apple Notes and not another Notes app? For example, in the past, I've used the Notes app Bear, but for at least the past few months, I've been using Apple Notes and I'm really, really happy with it. And a good reason for that is that Apple Notes has gotten a lot of amazing updates recently and can now do lots of cool stuff. There is the tag support, which I mentioned earlier, which is really, really handy for organizing but there are other, also some other cool features. And let's do a little live demo. Here's a feature that you may not be aware of. I think it's really cool. I received this piece of mail. It's an invitation from the college that I went to, Swarthmore College. And they're like, hey, do you wanna show up at the reunion this year on the college campus? So this is a, this is a piece of physical mail and I just wanna recycle it, but I do wanna keep the information. So what am I gonna do? I have a new note here right on my Mac, okay? But I'm actually gonna click this icon over here, photos, and see how it says my phone and my iPad so I can make it do things on my phone and my iPad. So I'm actually gonna say scan document. Now I'm gonna grab my iPhone. See what shows up on my iPhone? It's a little scanning thing. So I'm actually gonna put that over the document. There we go. And now the document has been scanned. I press save and see it instantly shows up over here inside my Apple Notes on my Mac, which I think is amazing. I'm just gonna open this up. I'm gonna rotate it. There we go. This is the invitation. Now I can chuck this one away into the recycling bin, but also look at this. Apple Notes already recognized all the text in here. Isn't this cool? I can copy paste this and send it to a friend who hasn't received this physical invitation yet. I can also search. If I hit the um, keyboard shortcut Command Option F, it pops open the search box over here. If I type reunion, it actually pops up this thing. Now <laughs> I've got a recently deleted note because I was practicing this before the <laughs> with this video. So that's why it shows up twice. <laughs> but you'll see that one is in recently deleted and the other one is in notes. It's really, really cool to do it this way. For scanning documents, I used to use a different app, an app called Genius Scan, which is nice. It works really well. It's just not necessary anymore. Now that Apple Notes is so good at it. And the nice thing is it keeps all my scanned things in one place and together with all my other notes. Now, a really cool feature about Apple Notes is that you can lock notes for privacy. For example, I've got a note right here that has a number that is a tax number that I sometimes have to enter into websites to make sure I don't pay value added tax when I don't need to. I don't want you guys to know this number because it's a private number and I might be liable or susceptible to identity fraud if I have that. So I lock this note. Now, let's say you wanna lock a note. It's real easy. You just pick a note, right click and go lock note, or you can sort of press the icon over there. Since I'm doing this on my MacBook, I can use Touch ID. It's a, it's a 14 inch 2021 MacBook with Touch ID. I just press it, boom. Now you'll see that it says unlock, but it actually put a lock on it and I can just press the button over here and now it's locked. And if I click on it, you cannot see what's inside. If I unlock it again, all I gotta do is get my finger and punch it. There we go, we're looking at it again. So I'll just remove the lock here because it's not necessary and I will lock all the other things. And so if you're doing this on your phone or on your iPad, you can use Face ID to unlock these notes. Now, one thing that I really like is I just locked a note with an image in it. And that's something that I couldn't do in the other note apps um, app that I was using previously, which is Bear. You can lock notes, but not ones with images in it. And that was starting to get pretty annoying for me. Quick caveat about Apple Notes though. Let's say I assign this the home tag. Now you'll see that the lock button is grayed out. And if I right click it, there's no lock note option anymore. So once you apply a tag to a note, you can no longer lock it. 
just something to keep in mind. I just make sure I don't use a tag for this particular note that I want to lock. And you'll see that I've got some pin notes up here. So this is a common feature of Notes app, but Apple Notes has it too. I find it really handy. For example, I've got a note right here that I call quick reference, just some things that I refer to very often, like the color for the call to action button in some of my emails. It's something that I have to manually set quite a lot. And so I keep it in a quick note or in a pin note at the top where I can easily get to it. And in the same way, I have some notes on my business strategy and on my YouTube channel strategy, which I've locked because I want to keep that stuff to myself. But I put them at the top because if I'm ever feeling demotivated or if I'm procrastinating, I'm asking myself, ah, oh, why am I doing this? Things get a little difficult. I love just quickly being able to pull up those reasons for why I'm doing all this work for you guys in the first place. Another nice thing about Apple Notes is it works really well together with other Apple apps and it really lets you save web pages very easily if you browse, for example, with Safari. So let's say I'm looking at an article here in Safari that I wanna save later, I have some thoughts on or whatever. All I do is click the share button and I just click notes and then I can choose to save it to a new note or to an existing note. I can even search here to search for a note that I wanna put it to. So if I search reunion, whoop. It's gonna show me that reunion note that I could add it to. Anyway, um, and I could say, this really got me questioning whether X, Y, Z. And I click save. If I pop back over to my notes app, you'll see that it's already right there with a link to the web page, nicely included in a fancy way with a picture. Now, the final Apple Notes feature that I wanna share with you um, before I tell you about some of the things that I don't use Apple Notes for is sharing notes. And so this is really nice. If I scroll down a little bit, um, my girlfriend and I just moved into this new apartment and we want to make sure that we keep it tidy and everything. And so we have some periodic home maintenance tasks. Now I haven't quite finished writing up this note yet, but we've got some things like, you know, rinse the vacuum uh, cleaner filter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's super easy. All you do is press this button over here and provided that the person you wanna share it with is on an Apple device, that is a limitation, you just share it with them and it will show the updates of people changing things and whatever. Super, super convenient. Now there are a few things that I do not use Apple Notes for that I could be using Apple Notes for. For example, when I make these YouTube videos in advance, I often write an outline or a script and I write down some of my ideas for what the thumbnail could be and what the video title should be, etc. I could write those things down in an Apple Note. I could have a template for that in Apple Notes and sort of duplicate the template in the same way that I do it with my podcast recordings. However, I actually use Notion for that. And we're looking at my Notion here right now. That's because Notion lets me do this in a can and band board style. And I just find that much more convenient. If I'm, let's say, done with recording this you know, video that we're working on right now and it's moving to the editing phase, I can just drag that over to editing. Oh, whoops, no. Ah, I can drag that over to editing. Um, all kinds of things are going wrong. Um, and I find that much more convenient to get that visual of what is the status of my videos. Also, Notion is cross-platform. So if I need to share one of these things with my video editor, I can just do that without my video editor needing to be on a Mac. Another thing that I don't use Apple Notes for is for storing lots of files that go together in a big project. For example, when I was working on my course, Big Picture Productivity, you know, version three in this case, I store my files on my computer's drive and I organize them there. I could put some of the course files inside Apple Notes, but I find that it gets pretty messy even if you use folders, even if you use tags. And at some point, it's just easier to store files on your hard drive. And hey, you're probably working with files anyway that Apple Notes doesn't accept or can't display. So for long-term storage of files, including like my tax documents and whatever, I tend to organize them nicely on my hard drive rather than trying to get all that in one Notes app, just because the additional features you get by using the Finder app in this case are a bit more convenient. I also do not use my notes app to store articles that I might want to read later or videos that I might want to watch later. I know that's a popular use case, but what I found is that when I'm looking at an article and I'm thinking, oh, I'm totally gonna read this later. Or I'm on YouTube and I'm, I see a video and I'm like, well, I don't have time to watch it now, but I'm totally gonna watch this later. In reality, most of the time I don't. So I just kind of stopped storing those articles. And one of the nice things about doing that is that your task or is that your notes app stays really, really clean. So for example, over the years had saved thousands and thousands of articles to my notes app. And then I'm searching, I'm using the search bar and I search reunion because I'm looking for that file, for the invitation to my college reunion. Maybe I would have 20 results popping up and I'd have to sift through those, right? Because of the word reunion might've showed up in all these articles that I saved over the years. So I really like not doing that. And you know what? It's actually kind of nice not to feel bad that you haven't read those articles yet. So the final thing that I don't use Apple Notes for is tracking to-dos. 
it's very tempting. So if I open a new note here, I'm in Apple Notes and I can say today's to do's, right? I can say, okay, let's make this a checklist, record YouTube video on Apple Notes, go lifting in the gym, um, book tickets to Mexico for a scuba diving trip. You might think this looks pretty good, but this is such a rudimentary way of tracking your to-dos that in the end, you're gonna forget about stuff. There's no way of saying, oh, actually, I wanna do this tomorrow. Yeah, I can make a heading tomorrow, but it gets really clunky, right? It's hard to assign dates and say, oh, I really need to do this by this time. It's hard to organize things into projects, right? It's hard to keep track of very, very detailed tasks that you might wanna do, which a friend of mine recently described as mosquito tasks. The ones that if you ignore them for too long, they're going to bite you. <laughs> I, I just love that. That's such a great phrase. Anyway, for that, I use my task manager. This is, for example, what the today page of my task manager looks like right now. This is things three. If you're not familiar with it yet, don't use Apple notes for keeping track of your to do's. Notes are a piece of information that's really, really different from the things that you want to do. If you want to be more organized when it comes to your tasks, you want to make sure that you get more done. You want to be using a task manager, Things3 is a great choice. In fact, I have an entire video course on it. It's called Organize Your Life with Things3. Check out the sales page, check out the testimonials on the sales page, what people have to say about that course, because it's really mind blowing and life changing for lots of folks. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and uh, ciao.